This is The Scoop for Wednesday. I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. Construction on the often congested I-275 to I-4 interchange is expected to be completed in 2027. WMNF's Chris Young reports the Florida Department of Transportation says the improvements will reduce the nearly 1,000 crashes that happen every year. FDOT held a virtual open house on Tuesday where they showed a narrated video of the proposed changes and answered questions. Roadway improvements include providing a two-lane exit from southbound I-275 to eastbound I-4 and constructing a new bridge to the inside of the interchange that drivers will use to access I-4. FDOT announced enhanced access to Ybor City and East Tampa. They also announced new green spaces in VM Ybor, Historic Ybor, and Tampa Heights that may include dog parks and pickleball courts. They warned drivers to expect increased construction over the next few weeks and months. However, a recent survey by Creative Loafing shows that Tampa residents want public transit. The survey says people are, quote, sick of having an existential crisis on the roadways. Many respondents asked for green, non-car solutions in the areas in and around this proposed construction. In a statement sent to WMNF, FDOT said they recognize the importance of public transit. However, the lack of dedicated local funding to transit has limited the ability of the state to invest more in matching funds. For WMNF News, I'm Chris Young. The U.S. Department of Justice announced yesterday that it had reached a settlement with the Pasco County School District after an investigation into alleged discrimination against students with disabilities on issues such as discipline. Information posted on the Justice Department website said the investigation focused on the school years from 2018 to 2022 and included issues such as school discipline policies and referrals of students to law enforcement. The investigation was conducted under part of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Iconic Florida singer Jimmy Buffett named one of his albums A1A in honor of the coastal highway that winds about 340 miles along Florida's Atlantic coast. And now the state is about to return the honor. State Highway A1A will become the Jimmy Buffett Memorial Highway as soon as Republican Governor Ron DeSantis signs the bill that the Senate sent to him yesterday with a unanimous vote. Buffett died in September and is remembered for his songs that drove tourists to the Florida Keys looking for sun, sand and relaxation. Meanwhile, WMNF's Marilyn Joyner reports that DeSantis is also receiving another bill that would honor Buffett with a specialty license plate. The Senate passed a bill that would create a Margaritaville specialty license plate. The funds from the plate would support the SFC Charitable Foundation. The bill will also create a place to support General Aviation, Recycle Florida, Boating, Universal Orlando, and the Villages. For WMNF News, I'm Marilyn Joyner. Florida could take a step to boost career education. WMNF's Carrie Lynn Kwiatkowski reports the Florida House passed a bill yesterday boosting what are called career-themed courses. The bill, which passed unanimously, aims to help students with job-related exams make career-themed courses more interesting and provide support for those thinking about dropping out. The bill's House sponsor is Democrat Lisa Dunkley. In your bill, you are giving exposure to the students, to the young minds, because exposure is key for them to start knowing about critical thinkings, and critical thinkings would be important for them to be successful in life. Career-focused education may help students succeed in a changing job market. For WMNF, I'm Carrie Lynn Kwiatkowski. The Northport City Commission voted 4-1 to one yesterday to direct staff for a plan to raise the only three historic buildings in the city. The historic buildings are all at Warm Mineral Springs. The Sarasota Herald Tribune reports the three would be replaced by one minimalistic structure. The issue must return to the commission. That means there's a window of opportunity for people to save those three buildings. Some options include nonprofits or the state of Florida to preserve the park and the historic buildings. State Representative Tracy Coster, a Republican from Tampa, has drawn a Democratic challenger as she runs for a third term in the Florida House. Democrat Brianna Faye Wallace opened a campaign account last week to run against Coster in Hillsborough County's House District 66. That's according to the State Division of Elections website. A finance report shows that Coster had raised $99,500 for her 2024 campaign account as of December 31st. She received 60% of the vote when she won a second term in 2022. Today will be mostly cloudy with a slight chance of isolated thunderstorms this afternoon. Highs will be in the high 70s tonight, partly cloudy with overnight lows in the mid 60s. And tomorrow, mostly sunny and hot with highs in the low 80s.
I'm Sean Kinnear with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.